it's time to answer the question that comes up with every MMO that releases, and that is, is there enough content in New World? Is there enough content now in the game? Is there enough for players to do, even if they're PvE or PvP only, is there enough for individual use cases? Now, this is going to vary a little bit because some of you are way too hard to please, but... I'm going to explain it to you and you can make that call for yourself. We're going to start by talking about how the end game was the most boring and non-immersive part of the game because of how many things you were sort of gate kept out of. For instance, even though there were two expeditions in the game and that really wasn't enough in my opinion, you also couldn't really do them. You were stuck waiting to get to 590 gear score because if you went in without that, you had no chance at legendaries. You could not get a legendary if you were not already up at 590. And so with how difficult it was to get into the expeditions because you had to get tuning orbs and they were really hard to come by and all these crafting parts that it was just super duper grindy to even get the chance to run an expedition and you didn't want to waste that on gearing your character up. You wanted to save them for 590, aka nobody did anything at the end game. The only option you had was the most boring and monotonous thing that didn't make you feel like you were even playing the game and that was chest runs. All you would do was go to elite zones, run in a massive loop looting chests maybe occasionally fighting a boss and the chance that you would get a drop that would increase your gear score it was miserable but in good news that's no longer the case with the brimstone sands update we're actually going to be up to five expeditions not just lazarus and genesis anymore we also have tempest we have black powder and barnacle and we have coming brimstone sands the ennead this is really great news but it gets even better they have now made it so you don't need tuning orbs to get into these expeditions so you don't have to grind out the ability to craft them or buy them to be able to get into these dungeons you can get into them right away you're just limited on how many you can do a week so with regular dungeons you can go into 25 which is plenty because that's per day you would have to spend the entire day grinding these dungeons to basically hit those numbers when there's other content to do that just doesn't seem likely in addition they now have the mutators as well if you're familiar with world of warcraft's mythic plus this is very similar to that the only downside i think is that it only goes up to m10 so you have m1 all the way through m10 they get progressively more difficult although i do think that it could scale a little bit better i think that they kind of stay similar and big bunches and in my experience i'm all the way up to an m9 already and that went pretty smoothly so an m10 should be a bit harder but i do think that like seven through nine was the same one through four was basically the same maybe even five was essentially the same so it could scale a little bit better but it is something there for the more hardcore pv ear who wants to experience something a little different that they can grind and progress through it adds a different set of progression which i think is really really cool this is also a really great way to be able to increase your gear score because they drop umbral shards which is part of that whole new gearing system that you can go through and that'll take us into the next point which is there are lots of different ways now to do that end game right we talked about how before it was just chest runs but now you have the expeditions but that's not the only way with the gypsum system which allows you to get gypsum orbs by doing various tasks you then make casts which then level up an item when you pick it to make a cast for that item so what you can basically do is go do arenas which is a new pvp mode right there's new content and when you do that you can get up to two garnets you take the garnets and you make an orb one per garnet so you can get two orbs there you go you're leveling up your character's gear with playing arenas that's not enough for you. You want bigger scale. You don't want the 3v3. You can go into OPR. OPR is 20 versus 20, which again, wasn't here at release. And that allows you to get in these big team battles to put a group together and go in there and compete. And you walk away with rubies. You can use rubies, which I think again, it's two per day to be able to create gypsum orbs which then you make the cast and you increase your gear score that way in addition they give you a chest at the end which can also give you new gear and improve your gear score so there's another method of progressing that isn't just pve content and on the note of pvp there's actually even more because they introduced the pvp track that allows you to have a chance at getting different items some gold some potions weapons armor all sorts of different things that you can spend azoth salt on that is what you get when you do pvp activities that could be open world that could be arenas opr i think even wars now speaking of wars they've become more gate locked more gate kept as the game has gone on as people have hit you know best in slot gear and they've gotten their groups together and their teams that they just feel really do well in these situations it's harder to get into wars which is a bit of a lack of content if you will like it's there but it's really hard to actually get into and take part in however when that started to happen is kind of when well you could still do oprs and you could still do arenas 
and they have stated they're working on a way that people can actually do like practice wars and things like that so that more folks get the opportunity to experience that type of gameplay and maybe even earn their spot in one of these companies on one of these war teams so if we shift our focus over into crafting that is something that i think was already in a pretty good place the crafting at the end game actually does have value they have improved that as well and even if you maxed out at 200 you can actually still grind it a little bit if you continue to do things you get aptitude it's a new system they have about three times per level you end up getting little bonus rewards basically and it's a nice way to just kind of incentivize you and to give you something for continuing to work on these outside of just whatever you're crafting in addition the timeless shards have come in and allow you to pick another perk for that item so they've let you customize your item a little bit further but you still can't perfectly plan it out which means that there is still going to be that little bit of a gambling aspect which of course makes it fun when you land your item it also means that you have to grind a little bit more for it and I think that's okay so honestly overall I do think there's enough content now now some people like I said in the beginning they're gonna want more and more and more and it's coming like I do think the fact that there isn't a raid yet is unfortunate I like that kind of content however they have stated they're working on it so the main thing is plenty of the things that you want are coming mounts more zones more expeditions raids all of those things are coming however they're not here yet and the game is still good enough to play my recommendation is give it a shot jump into the game even if you played it before it's in a way better place and there's much more to do and the end game isn't such a monotonous grind if you love doing the whole train runs they still happen they are still happening all the time you'll see in the chat because it's still just a really simple easy way of getting a massive group running through and getting some score even if you maybe just want to do something slower like an expedition that's okay because you can do those for the day and when you've caught up on that when you feel like you've done enough of them you can just swap over and do a train to end the night so my answer is yes I do think there's enough content whether you are a PvP lover or an PvE lover there is something there for you to do almost every day but you don't have to you can log in a couple times a week if you want you don't have to get on every single day that's one of the beautiful things about this game and so play at your own speed but just know there's plenty for you to do I log in each day and I'm like oh I can grab my gypsum orbs from here from there some of them are really fast if you're limited on time some of them require a little more time like OPR runs or dungeons just go do it have some fun with it and look forward to the content that is still coming I hope this video answered your question and of course if you love new world content or MMO content in general subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me and of course if you want to support me directly in the best way become a member of the channel by clicking the join button down below if you want to discuss these things with me live you can always come over to my stream at twitch.tv slash heartbreaker underscore tv I look forward to seeing you all there and as always good luck in your adventures